All right. Now the next segment, video marketing. This is important. I, I love video. Video is where it's at today, guys. You know, going through, how can videos help you grow your business? Search engines love videos. When you optimize these, uh, Jeannie's passing out the books. Yeah, we got the, uh, well, let's get back to that. Uh, we're going to go through in Google. To get first page ranking with Google, you know, videos, when you put the keywords in the videos, it really, Google and YouTube takes the video, pulls the words out of the video with their software. You know, they have billions of dollars, so they have all the tools. So adding YouTube videos, adding your video to YouTube, and YouTube has over a billion views per month. I mean, it's great. You guys have all been on YouTube. Everybody has. Adding videos to Facebook. Facebook is a great place to upload your videos. You can do like 100 megs, up to 20 minutes. Great place to put your information. Uh, Facebook has a billion, 1.1 billion active users. Incredible. What you can do with this video is take control of your local market. Increase your company brand awareness, tying this all together. You know, videos are, are the, the next wave of any type of internet stuff. Now, the reason being because you have a search, you can go social, and you'll have the local blogs and websites. You know, get first page ranking, get the video ranks. They rank quickly on the search engines. You can put a video up today and have it ranking on the first page tomorrow or even quicker. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, same thing with Facebook. Takes a couple extra days, but you can have all that stuff linking right on your Facebook account. And again, you can take the, uh, the copy of the code embed codes from either one of these and put them on your blog or website. So you don't have to upload it to that. And you have your local blogs, websites, and you can put all these videos right into your website from the, from the uh, search engine, I mean, from the video sharing sites. Your customers want to see videos. People stay on the websites up to 88% longer watching videos. Videos help them feel more confident about your company because it answers the questions. We're all engaged when watching video. Become an expert in your local area. Create a series of videos about your local work area and then, you know, upload these to YouTube and put them in sequence and people love to keep clicking through them and, you know, that's, that's, where, that's where you become the local expert. Engage your customer with helpful videos. They love to see the videos and you doing the jobs. If your customer likes your video, the chances are they're going to end up buying it. We've tested this and people like, they say, hey, I saw your video on YouTube. Yeah, great, let's, let's get the roof done. You know, over 50% of video users are on smartphones. You know, everything's, they're all HTML5 coming up. Everything's on your iPhone, smart pad, smartphones. You know, it's a great way to get the backlinks to your website because you can put the code right on the video sites and link them to your site. They see the video, click here to go to my website. They're on your site. The web has changed the way we buy things. Everybody will go to Amazon, we buy stuff online. People are searching videos. They're gonna, they're gonna stay on a site that has a video first. Nobody wants to read a bunch of text. Now YouTube is uh, the, the sites that we recommend, YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo. These are the ones that are the main ones. Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you know how to optimize videos? Do you have business pages on Facebook? That's a great place to put info. And do you have local business pages? Whoop, jump that one out. I don't know if you guys have, have opened a YouTube channel, Facebook, and opened a Vimeo account, but you definitely want to do it on those three. That's uh, your great video social sites. Using the benefits of video on social media. The possibilities are endless with social media. Create a business page on Facebook. Embed your links on the videos on Facebook. You can copy the paste from the link from Facebook. Put it on your blogs and websites. Embedded the Facebook video to your sites. Add in the URL that links directly from Twitter or any of the sites back to your main website. It's that consistent video link on social media. Facebook users only post to their friends. They're going to send your information around to them if they like it. You know, everybody's building trust with local customers. Google Plus has a video platform that's very powerful, upcoming. You can do groups and different things on Google Plus. And of course, Google owns YouTube, as you know, so they're, they're linking everything together. 
using videos, uh, we're going to upload, do your daily posting, either Facebook, Google Plus, and sharing, and share those to all your friends and people they know, because everybody has, you know, 10 or 15, 50 friends behind the one that you have, and they'll be sending the information if they like it. Using the benefits, write the stuff down. We'll go over another question. Why video marketing is so cost effective? It's the low cost of the video equipment today. All you need is a smartphone, and most of the time the phone company is going to give you a free phone, free online how-to videos and tutorials to help you. If you have any questions about that, of course, we offer that stuff. Creating videos, the high-quality videos. Create a professional image. You know, take a few minutes, build a before and after on your video, target it, and I've got a great video. I'm going to show you I can do this with a few mobile apps afterwards. High return on investment. Local businesses can get started immediately. You can upload a video today and get leads the very next day or, or the day after. I mean, we are in the beginning of online videos. Really, we're just at the helm of this. Experts predict videos will double over the next 24 months. Huge opportunity to grow your business. Video marketing is probably the best way to get free targeted traffic. Now we're going to start with some of the cost effective action steps. Starting with a campaign, creating commercials. I don't know if you have a price to television commercial or radio commercial. It's pretty expensive. You know, to create ads and campaigns and phone books, we've all done that. Mobile, the good thing about the mobile is you create a video and upload it the same from the same job site and it start getting traffic to your site immediately. I mean it's it, it doesn't get any easier. And why is it a cost effective action step? Write down the information if you have any questions. Now, do you need help with video marketing? Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have videos for your business currently? Are your competitors using video marketing? I mean, everyone's on, on, the, on the ride here, so we've got to jump on now. Will the videos work for your roofing business? And customers are checking you out online 24-7. Creating customer referrals with videos, you know, if a happy customer's, you know, they just can't believe how great the job came out, say, hey, can you write a video, can you do a video testimonial for me? They'll be a little shy at first, but just encourage them to get them do this. Hold the smartphone, go ahead and set it, and just, hey, can you say a couple of things? Take it, upload it instantly to your sites, and you've got a referral video. It's a great way to get, get, those, uh, get those referrals. Using a smartphone or tablet to create videos. Today you can do it with a smartphone, iPad, and using the mobile apps to edit your videos on your iPad. Great new technology. And I think the, uh, the iPad Air is giving away free apps that you can use. Um, and once again, we'll go over this. The customers, the website, and the blog. You know, customers need to find you online. They're searching. You want to be able to step in front of them and get that traffic. Have your customers seen your video, making sure they've your website has a video. Embed, it, embed the video on your sites from YouTube, Vimeo, and all the sites. And the blog, make sure you create that roofing blog and add that incredible video that you create onto that blog. Information action steps, you know, write the stuff down. The reason I put these in is because if you have any questions, write it down. Then you can reuse this information down the road for your business. So it's, it's good. Creating a video using your iPad. This is great. I mean, you can take the iPad with your, take a video with your iPad. You can take it with your iPhone. Download a couple of mobile apps like iMovie to edit your videos. Download Intro Designer. This is a great little app. It has pre made videos that you can just put your, your information in, text information, hit upload, and you know, all of a sudden you've got a brand new video, and it only takes like five minutes. It's great. Also, download Video Scribe for hand drawn videos. What this is, you put a video, you put a picture in, and it has a hand drawn that goes around and draws it, and you can put music under it, and you can tag it with your name and logo. So that's a great little free, it's like four bucks for the app. Great way to get traffic. Need to create a YouTube account, and you need to create a Dropbox account. This is the two that you need, the two uh, accounts, and then after that, we'll use the apps, and I've got a video that shows you how to do that. Creating the video. I don't know if you guys have ever created an iPad video using an iPad. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple to hit the play button, record button, but then to edit the video and make it look customized by adding your logo and things at the end and maybe a voiceover. That, that, that's how you do it, and that's how you SEO optimize. Now, 
I don't know if you've ever taken a video about your roofing job or ever created a high, high, video, high definition video using for YouTube, but all these have HD. These cameras are incredible, the iPhone and the iPad. All the cameras, phones these days have great video, uh, cameras. Now the action steps for the video. Why do you need online videos? We went through that. There's millions of people watching videos every day. That's the reason you need to do this. Does my targeted audience really want to see videos? We went over that. Of course they do. They want to see the video on the sites. Isn't one video enough? Uh, one video is okay, but take some time. Do one or two videos every week. Upload them to the system. Before you know it, within 10 months, you get 40 videos up there. So it's worth taking the time and doing that. Have as many videos about your local jobs. What type of videos should I create? Obviously, we're in the roofing business, siding business. Take some videos about a job. You open up a wall, it's all rotten. Talk about replacing the studs and putting it back together. Or, you know, we pull off the sheathing, do chimney flashing. And then putting your local town and city and your company name in the video. Can videos really increase sales? Absolutely. I mean, there's just such a big... The reason we're doing it is because the commercial's on TV. The reason why is because video is where it's at. Doesn't creating a video cost a fortune? It used to. Not anymore with the smartphones and cameras. Why should I place videos online? Because you're going to get in different places. Because not every site is going to be linking it up every time. Google has YouTube. That's what they use. They don't promote the other ones quite as well. But other sites, yeah, you, you, uh, Yahoo, Bing, Google, all those, you know, they have their own upload sites. So put them all over the place. Let's see if we can get traffic everywhere. Can I track the effectiveness of my videos? You can by using uh, different analytics. You can go ahead and set those up in the background and clicking through. I know that Vimeo has analytics, YouTube has analytics, so you can use all those. And how do you get more eyeballs on your sites? By promoting offline and online. How do I get started with video marketing? Well, I put this together. I want to show you how you can edit this video. I think it's powerful. It's going to give you some good info. And I'll go ahead and play this, and uh, it's great. These three apps are, are awesome. I'm recommending this to all the, the video marketing sites. Hey, guys. Welcome to the iPad training series. I'm going to show you how you can make changes to your videos Instead of using all this machinery that I spent tens of thousands of dollars on, you can use this with this app. It's incredible. Let's go inside, check it out, and I'm going to show you everything. Okay, we're at my computer, and I've launched Air Server. What that is, it's a screen capture of my iPad. So what you're seeing in this video is an exact copy that's on my iPad, and I'm going to go through this video marketing series and show you exactly how you can use your iPad as a production studio. Now the four apps that I recommend uh, start with Dropbox. Dropbox is a storage unit that you can basically have access to your iPhone, your computer, your iPad. Uh, you can take photos and videos from any source and upload it to this and you can have access to them to create these videos. So go to Dropbox.com. It's a free app. Uh, it's a free storage. You get 2.5 gigs of storage. And out of these four apps that I recommend, the Dropbox gives you the initial start. And then this Intro Designer. This actually has built-in themes that you can create videos or 30-second, like the, like the title says. It's an Intro Designer. And you can create introductions to videos and to your websites or anything. And they're really high quality and, and really in, intense. Uh, the other one is iMovie. This is actually the, the, the piece that I'm going to show today. It is a complete copy of Final Cut Pro, but it's been downsized to be able to use the most important features on the mobile app. And also Video Scribe. This is a hand, I don't know if you've ever seen hand-drawn videos. Well, this actually does it, and it does it very easy and produces it in high resolution. You can basically import a picture and the software automatically draws around the image. It's incredible. So first of all, we're going to start off with iMovie. I'm going to go ahead and launch that app. Now the things that you want to see, and I'm just going to go through the app a little bit and show you uh, how it usually starts. Usually the app will start on the video tab, and these three up here, the video and the project and theater, 
These are the ones that you'll have access to, and this will show you all the videos that are on your on your iPad right now. And I went out to the job site today and took some video footage with my iPad, so it's on there. And also, you can go to Theater, Projects, and those are the tabs you want to go. So we're going to start with the Projects tab. Now, up here in the left-hand corner, you're going to see the question mark. You can click on that, and if you have to get lost with something, it gives you references in yellow boxes so you can see you know, anything that's important. And, and if you get, like I said, lost in a, in a transition or something, you can see that. Now we're going to start up here in the right-hand corner. The, the plus button is where you add a new project. Now you can have a trailer for like a Hollywood video type trailer, or start a movie trailer, but we're going to create a movie. This will give you options to a new movie and they give you some themes that are all preloaded into the software. Like I said, this software has a lot of features that are that are very powerful, but we're just we're not going to use any of the themes. We're going to go directly to create a movie. Now, if you notice down at the bottom, this is your timeline down here. This is where all of the the information gets rendered and stored and creating the video. If you want to create your own video or create an instant video, you can click right on the little icon that says video tab you can you can do it directly from you know right live and then dump it into the timeline or you can have pre-made videos which I which that's the way I do these and they're all listed for you up above now we're gonna go ahead and click on all uh, this just gives me updates about the Dropbox now we have video we have photos and we have audio the best thing about the video is this can give you all of the camera roll or all the videos that you have access to on Dropbox and everything. Um, the photos are great because you can have all your photos that are in here. And the audio is incredible. It comes loaded with theme music. Like I said, all those themes that you looked at, uh, you can basically have 57 seconds of music that's already loaded in. Also, you've got sound effects for all kinds of different type of I like like we use hard rain for like when we're doing our videos for our roofing information now the video is what we're gonna start with today so the camera roll like I said I went out and took some good footage I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you do this now if you wanna add a video to the timeline like I said the timelines down here this is gonna give you all the information so what I'm gonna do is click on a video and it's going to drop it down automatically when I hit this arrow down button. If you just highlight it, it brings up the action. You can actually play the video or you can drop it right down. And then what it's going to do is put it right in. So you want to just touch it and move it around. And we're going to call the center line your headset. This is where all, wherever you put something, that's where the software thinks that you're making a transition, cut, edit, or whatever you're doing. Now, the good thing about this at this point, there's different options for each piece of the of the of the video footage if you want to add a title you will see down at the bottom you can put a title you can speed it up you can split it freeze it duplicate it or trash the video and get it off the off the uh, timeline now I'm gonna go through and, and add a couple of more photos a uh, video and then I'm gonna show you some of these other features now after this we're gonna go ahead and add another piece in and if you see if we play it I've gone through and just taken some good shots and transition into add another piece so I'm gonna grab another piece of the video footage which shows you know the guy up on the roof that's working with me I'm going ahead and click on we'll say this no I don't want to go to that one. we're gonna go ahead and put a piece on the roof that looks like a good shot let's throw that one down in now you're gonna notice as you move the timeline back right here in the middle this is a little bit of a, a transition now when you play the video it automatically puts a transition to a nice dissolve and switches over to the next video so if you want to change that transition the timing of it you can just hold down on it you can make edits with it you can pick a different type of transition if you want to do something different this will be like a little bit of a little starburst or anything I mean you can add there's so many different options here it's great uh, you know a basic transitions dissolve this is what most people use for like video whoop uh, you can do a lot you can the good thing about the video is if you don't like where it's at you can actually highlight it touch it with your finger and you can actually move it to the end and again it puts that transition in there for you so but I'm gonna bring it back because it has the beginning of the trailer shot that I wanna have at the beginning of the of the shot 
Now, again, we have all those in there, but let me go over that, them transitions. Uh, you can speed up the different timing if you want a longer transition. There's, you can turn the audio off if there's anything in there. Uh, there's, like, there's a couple different ones that you can go with. Like I said, the transition time, you can turn that off completely. Uh, you can speed up the transition. If you want to do some different transition fade to black, there's, you know, this is great when you're doing at the end of the video uh, to dip out and speed up the transition, the photo pitch. There's a lot of different options here. And again, like I said, I've, you can change the, the different transitions. Here's another one. You can see it kind of goes to a different, they call it like a barn door type transition. But that's, uh, that's an overview of the transition. Let's go back to the end because I'm going to add a couple more spots in. And I want you to actually see up on the roof what's going on and see the, the guy actually doing the, the shingling. So we highlight it again, hit the down button, drops it in. So we got it coming from the ground transitioning up and now we're going to be up on the roof and see the installer actually do some work and then go back out of the, the transition. Now I don't actually like that video so I'm going to show you how you can get rid of it. You just highlight it and delete it. It's going to take it off the timeline. I'm going to go back up to one of these other ones because I know there was a better shot up there that I liked. And let me just go back up to one of these. And this is the one that I liked better. I'm going to go ahead and hit that one, put that one down in there. That's how easy it is to edit these. I mean, look how quick I just changed the video. Let's try that transition, see how that sounds. Beautiful. So I'm up on the roof, and you're going to go over. You're going to see the nice, smooth transition that I'm moving around. You want to be very careful with your movement. Don't go too fast, because you can make make the people, the viewers, actually like a seasick-looking type uh, view. So let's go ahead and add one more piece to this, and then we'll have the full video on this. Um, We'll go ahead and do one more from down on the ground. He's up on the roof. I'm going to hit this one one more time, and we'll get a chance to look at the installer one more time, doing some more work on the roof, and then we're going to add some video under it. So you see it one more time as he's putting the pieces in. You'll see some more cuts being done and moving around and see how the installer installs a roof. Okay, great. So let's go add some music under this whole video. Now, before I do that, I want to add a photo to tag the brand my my uh, the front of the video and the back of the video so what I've done is taken an image right from photos and I've got it on my camera roll and I've got two in there I'm gonna add my video it's just my logo drops it down in and let's go ahead and watch that and you can see how that's gonna move a little bit it has a little bit of movement to it so let's go ahead and you can pinch this as well so if you want to pinch it position you can do some different size. You can bring it back. I really don't want it to, to go too far. So basically, you'll be able to see how it moves a little bit. And if you stop it right here, it's actually you can do some more editing by pinching it back to the size. So just by moving stuff around and practicing, you can do some different stuff. It's great. All right, so let's stop it there. Now I want to, again, move that headset back. Remember, wherever you put that line, it's going to go ahead and add that to your headset so let's go ahead and add some audio now the audios has some great things you can either use sound effects or your own music you can use theme music sound effects the playlist your albums songs that you might have now I put some stuff inside that I have some music from a couple of old my videos and I do have my logo one I'm gonna use the logo uh, music which I, I had created let's drop that down it's 33 seconds and let's go ahead and play that, see what it sounds like. So it's actually the music for my company. And it's a great, I use it on all kinds of different things, on radio, TV, all my marketing. Now I'm going to extend that. You can see the video is longer than the music. So let's go ahead and edit this music so I can put another piece in. And remember what the t headset is, we're going to drop that back down. Let's try a little longer one. I've got track 14. Let's drop that one down and see how that looks. That's actually going to go all the way from end to end, right? So let's get rid of number two. Let's get rid of the first one because we're just going to get that out of there because this one's longer. I, I saw this four. I saw the 33 second. But this should bring us pretty much through the whole video. It's not that long, and it does, actually. It's almost perfect. Let's see how it ends. Let's see how that sounds.
Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can turn this up and down a little bit. You actually can turn it up a little bit. You can see how it works. Okay, that sounds great. Now, what I want to do is add a little voiceover. So if you're running a special, uh, you can add voiceovers. But now at the end here, I want to add my logo again. So let's go back to the photo, drop that back in, and it, you can see where it actually it cleaned that up and made the transition. So let's see what this says. Now let's go ahead and trim this. I actually want to make that a little shorter because I want the girls to sing out in the video as it goes out. Listen to this. Okay, so wherever that ended, I want to end it right where that stopped. So we can see how easy it is, drag and drop, guys. I mean, this is pretty straightforward stuff. Oh, we got a little bit of tick down at the bottom there. See that little bit? So let's go ahead and touch that again and drag it just a little shorter. And now that should end that video nice and clean. Okay, so that's that whole music is all tied together, right? So let's go ahead and put something in the middle here. Now, I want to put maybe a special that I'm running. So wherever that needle head is again, let's go ahead and, and put in something that sounds good right at that point. And all you have to do is go click on this little button that has a, a microphone button. And it's going to bring up this, this editing video recording dialog box it's going to show you it's ready to record and you want to keep that in the green you don't want it to hit the red if you talk real loud it's going to hit the red so we're ready to record let's go ahead and do it and you'll see the box will light up and it'll be red in the recording it's going to give you a countdown for three seconds let's hit record here's the countdown hey it's David DeShane we're running a roofing special currently so go ahead and put your name and email address in the box provided or give us a call at 774-9200 and we'll be glad to work with you. Thank you very much. It's David DeShane. So let's go ahead and, and listen to that, right? So we got the little recording. Let's review it. Hey, it's David DeShane. We're running a roofing special currently. So go ahead and put your name and email address in the box provided or give us a call at 774-9200 and we'll be glad to work with you. Thank you very much. It's David DeShane. That sounds good. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Uh, hit the accept button. That's going to load it into the timeline. Now this is going to turn down the music below. So you'll see as I play this, the music at a certain level. Hey, it's David DeShane. We're running a roofing special currently. So go ahead and put your name and email address in the box provided, so that's nice or give us a call at 774-9200, and we'll be glad to work with you. Thank you very much. It's David DeShane. So that sounds pretty good. Now, I want to make a little change on that. I'm going to go ahead and delete that last where I say it's David DeShane, because the girls are going to say it in my audio right there, and you're going to hear it right now. So let's go ahead and play that. We'll be glad to work with you. Thank you very much. It's David Oh, so I want to... Turn that down a little, little less, and we'll go ahead and play it at that point there. That sounds nice and clean. Thank you very much. It's yeah, let's go ahead and play that. I might want to trim that a little more. And we'll be glad to work with you. Let's see how where I want to stop that. Name and email address in the box provided, or give us a call at 774-9200, and we'll be glad to work with you. Thank you very much. It's Glad to work with you. We'll leave it at that point right there. So you can see you can fine tune it any way you want. And we'll be glad to. Yeah. So I'm going to record a new one. I don't like that. I'm deleting that totally. Now I'm going to. Now it's frustrated me. So I'm going to make a nice one. So here we go. We're going to do another recording and you get a chance to see this again. Okay. Let's hit the button and hit the record button. Hey, it's David DeShane. We're currently running a 
Hey, it's David Desham. We're currently running a roofing special, so give us a call and you can save some money. Put your name and email address or call us at 774-9200. And we'll go ahead and play that, see how that sounds. Hey, it's David Desham. We're currently running a roofing special, so give us a call and you can save some money. Put your name and email address or call us at 774-9200. Great. So we'll go ahead and accept that. That sounds much better. Uh, there's some things you can do. You can make it louder. You can you can do some edit here. You can speed it up, fade it out. If you wanted to add some fade, there's a lot, a couple different options here that you can do. So you want to make it sound a little faster. You can speed it up, and you know there's a lot of options there. So we're gonna go down and take a look at this point. Everything looks good. I mean, I think that whole video looks great. At this point. If you want to do any editing at all, you can. But if not, just hit the back button up here in the left-hand corner. This will bring it back to the place to save it. This will give you a chance to make any changes you want. You've got My Movie, so what we're going to do is go up here and delete that. And we'll just call it Roofing Video. And that way there you can change it. And you'll also notice that it will give you the duration, which is 59 seconds. If you want to preview the video, you can by clicking that. That will go through and preview the whole thing. So we're going to get rid of that. But also you can upload it. And if you want to edit it, you can click on this little thing. It will load it right back into the software and do any edits. But we're not going to do that. So let's click back. And this is your upload button right here. Now you can pick where you want to upload it. You can click Vimeo. You can set a message, YouTube or save it directly to your your phone I mean your iPad or your smartphone you can use this on iPhones as well I'm gonna go to the 720 video that that's pretty quick and it'll go ahead and do its export and this is great because you know when you're doing the export it goes so fast um, you know on the 720 if you go to the 1080 it might take a couple of minutes but this video creation if you create one video a week you upload it to YouTube just by taking videos and it take how long is this taking me? Five, ten minutes to make this video and I'm producing it and talking about it. But you do one or two of these videos, you get it down. And if you're trying to get traffic off the internet in your local areas and you create these videos in different towns and cities that you work in and upload them to YouTube, YouTube actually takes the words out of the videos and that's how it gives you the special SEO ranking. So remember that when you're doing your videos. Talk about the towns and cities you're working in because that'll that'll give you a lot of the SEO. Now, okay, it's all exported that fast. What would it take? A minute and a half to create a 60-second video? Go up here and hit the arrow button. So let's go back to our camera roll, and we'll just go ahead right down into the main video, and you see a little camera spot. Let's hit that. Now, it uploaded directly to... Your, your download to your cameras and it's right there so everything's there it's in high definition 720 by 1080 and it's high quality video so I mean that's that is incredible I mean to me that's it doesn't get any better than that I mean that that's your whole system uh, any videos that you have you can keep in your camera roll but like I said these four little apps are incredible you basically created a production studio the hand hand scribe video scribe this is an incredible little app uh, you've probably seen some of these I made a little quick video here and I'm not gonna go through all of this with you but if you want to create a new one you can do that as well but I've made a little one that that shows uh, this house drawing you can actually pick pick it comes loaded with all kinds of samples so you can basically play it and it shows the hand driven hand-drawn videos you can edit the videos you can add more music to it anything you want to do with these things but I sped through it real quick and it can do any drawing underneath you can extend the music longer and again these YouTube videos the best thing about these is these uh, videos you can upload them to YouTube as well by publishing uh, you can create a new video or just publish directly to YouTube Facebook or your Dropbox incredible app this suite of mobile apps like I said it's an incredible way to grow a business with video marketing 
Anyway, this is David DeShane. I appreciate your time and enjoy working with you. Pretty good video, guys. That'll teach you some stuff on how to... Whoop. That had a lot of good information. I'm sure you learned some stuff from that. that was, uh, no one has ever seen those apps before. That's pretty powerful. Okay, we're going to break for lunch. I appreciate your time today. Go ahead and uh, we're going to buffet set up, so enjoy, and thanks for showing up today.